Hello, this is Joe Delio from the Palo Alto Networks community team here. In today's video tutorial, I will be covering how to configure DNS sinkhole. I will show you how to configure DNS sinkhole on a Palo Alto Networks firewall. For more detailed information on what DNS sinkhole is and how this is configured in an article, please see the link in the transcript below. Also, if you need to know how to verify your DNS sinkhole config, please refer to how to verify DNS sinkhole. Again, the link in the transcript below. I will also be covering that in a different tutorial video. Now, starting with PanOS 6.0, DNS sinkhole is a new action that can be enabled in the anti-spyware profiles. Here are the steps that we need to go through in order to make sure this is configured properly. We need to make sure that the latest antivirus updates are installed on the Palo Alto Networks device. We need to configure the DNS sinkhole protection inside of the anti-spyware profile. We need to place an anti-spyware profile in the outbound internet rule. Then we we'll need to configure the security policy in order to block access to the IP address chosen inside the anti-spyware profile in step two. Let's begin by logging into the web UI as you see here. We will want to go to the device tab first. Inside the device tab, let's go to dynamic updates. Hit the check now button in the lower left hand corner. You'll want to make sure that your antivirus is up to date and you'll see here if it's downloaded and currently installed and if that's close to the date, then you're good to go. Note that you do need to have a paid antivirus subscription for the DNS sinkhole function to work properly. Now, let's go and configure the anti-spyware profile by going to Objects, clicking on Anti-Spyware on the left-hand side. Inside the Anti-Spyware Profile section, you'll either need to create a new anti-spyware profile or use one that is already there. If you try to use a predefined profile, it will not let you make the changes needed because it's a predefined profile. I'm choosing the Alert All profile name. We go to DNS Signatures. Inside the DNS Signatures, you see the action on the DNS queries. The default action is to alert. So we need to change that to sinkhole. Then we need to choose an IPv4 IP address. This is very important. When choosing a fake IP, this IP address needs to be a fictitious or fake IP that cannot exist anywhere inside of your network. The DNS and HTTP traffic have to travel through the firewall in order for it to detect the malicious URL and then to stop access to the fake IP. If the fake IP is routed to a different location and not through the firewall, then this function will not work for you. I choose 1.1.1.1 for simplicity reasons for the IPv4 and you need to have an IPv6 address even if you're not using it or otherwise it will not let you hit OK. So we hit OK. Now the next step is to place this anti-spyware profile in the outbound internet rule. Go to policies, go to security, and my rule is trust to untrust. As you see, it's an outbound rule, it goes from the trust to untrust, and it's for any application. In order for this to work properly for you, it has to be the rule that allows DNS traffic out to the internet. So we'll go into the trust to untrust rule here. We go to the actions tab and we make sure for the anti-spyware profile that we're choosing the alert all, which is the same profile I modified to have the proper DNS sinkhole action in it. Lastly, what we need to have is a rule that blocks traffic to the 1.1.1 IP address. The easiest thing you can do is to either copy or create a new rule. I will be reusing this rule, which I'm, I'm doing trust to untrust. I'll go ahead and clone that. I'm going to move this rule up. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the rule here. It's going to be block. This is going to be from, again, from trust to the untrust. 
The destination IP address that we need to stick in here is 1.1.1.1 slash 32. And the second one, we need to add the colon colon 1 if you are using IPv6. As far as applications are concerned, inside the application field, we would normally put web browsing and SSL as the applications. But because we wanted to stop access to the fake or bogus IP address, then we don't need any application in here. And the service and URL category, if you'd like to put the service as HTTP or HTTPS, you can, but it is not needed. You just need to ensure that the action is set to deny, and it does not matter the profile setting there. Now, once you commit the change, you are done. Again, for instructions on testing and verifying that you have this set up and working properly, I'll be covering this in my next tutorial video entitled How to Verify DNS Sync Hole Function is Working. Or if you'd like, again, to prefer an article on this, please see links for the same information in the transcript below. Thank you very much for watching and stay secure.